eating pumpkin pie, that glass right there, that, that right there is a pumpkin pie sipper. What's going on everybody, Nathan here with The Everyday Drinker bringing you guys a brand new episode of What's That Whiskey Friday. Today on the chopping block, we have Barrel Bourbon Batch 32. And we're gonna see if this is better than my favorite of Batch 31. So let's crack this bad boy open and see what it's all about. So before we get into this bad boy, I wanna let you guys know about the 1,000 subscriber giveaway that we're doing. We are doing four two ounce pours of bourbons. We're doing Eagle Rare, Blanton's, Weller Special Reserve, and Wild Turkey Rare Breed. So if you want a chance to win those samples, make sure you click on that subscribe button, leaving likes, and leaving comments to let me know that you guys are here and loving the content. So this bad boy right here, Barrel Bourbon Batch 32. I have all the information on the computer. I'm going to let you guys know all about it. So Batch 32 began with a balance of two sets of barrels, a selection of five and six year old barrels with a creamy and tropical profile, and a selection of six, seven, and 10 year old barrels vatted for their complex old woody character. These two sets of barrels were slowly blended over three months, a small group of spice driven seven year old barrels with notes of cinnamon toast. Coffee, bean, and chocolate were then carefully added to complete the blend. The result is a decadent and rich bourbon with layers of spice and nuttiness. So this is distilled and aged in Tennessee, Kentucky, and Indiana. It is five, six, seven, and 10 year old barrels, and it is proofed at 115.34. So let's see what this is all about. Let's get right in the nose, guys. I got like this like super dry wood note in there right off of the bat. Getting like a like a white raisin, not a like a yeah, like the, the green grape raisin. Super sweet. Got like a apricot in there a little bit. A little dusty almost. Maybe some nuttiness. Light fruits. Light fruits, not dark fruits. A little bit of sugar, a little brown sugar there. Ooh, maybe um a little bit of like a, a white pepper almost. A little cinnamon, a little caramel. Yeah, this smells really, really good. It smells super, super like the complexity is in those light fruits and it's really nice. Maybe a slight, like a slight espresso note in there. Let's get into the palette. Oh, wow. That's super bright and inviting. So I had opened this up, tried it once, and then I wanted to do a video on it because I really enjoyed it opening in and just that first that first glass I had it was fantastic that was a couple days ago now this this is super super inviting this has that that chocolate note that I that they said I taste it that is very very prevalent all right off of the bat front of the palate into the finish that chocolate goes but I'm getting this this oakiness that is super, super nice. It's not like super bitter and tannin. It's just like you get in that, you know that this was in wood. You know it was in new oak barrels. I'm getting a slight like maybe walnut, not peanut. Like it's a, it's a thicker, juicier nut compared to a peanut. I'm not getting the dryness. It, it's that nice milky nuttiness. For being 115 proof though, this doesn't drink at that. I'd say it probably drinks at like 107, 108. It does have a slight hug going down, but it's nothing co comparable to that 115 proof. It does have a beautiful, beautiful finish on it where it's a, a little herby going down. And then the sweetness takes over on that tail end of the finish. I'm getting that confectioner, a little bit of brown sugar. This is really, really good. This right here is a really good fall drink in my opinion. I don't know if this is like a very good like sit out on the porch on a hot summer day, but eating pumpkin pie, that glass right there, that, that right there is a pumpkin pie sipper. This is really good. Does it compare to batch 31? No. Is it fantastic? Yes, and I would pick it up in a heartbeat again to add a second one to the shelf. Batch 31, though, in my opinion, is still my absolute, absolute favorite out from the, bar the barrel bourbons that I've had. So here's hoping I can find Batch 33. That woodiness is so nice. Like, I've had a lot of, like, bourbons and whiskeys where they've had this woodiness, but it's just overly bitter. 
That one right there, it is, it, it's got the complexity with that wood that complements it so, so well. Man, that's really good. Until next time, guys, this has been Nathan with The Everyday Drinker. Cheers.